Time now for Body and Balance Health Specialist Leah Serich joining us this morning talking about something very mm -hmm. tricky to diagnose. One in every 2,000 kids, babies, has a birth defect that affects uh, the shape of their head. Mm -hmm. In Calgary, though, there's an incredible type of surgery that can fix this. Yes, it's amazing. This is another one of those stories where you think we are so lucky yes. to have this facility in our city. So what we're talking about is craniosynostosis. So it's a big fancy name for a birth defect that happens with these children. And as you mentioned, basically what happens is, is you have children that have these heads and they have bones in the head that mm -hmm. are not normally fused together. There's actually room there. There's, a, there's gaps between is these Is that why bones. they have a soft spot? You know exactly. the soft, okay, yeah, yep, yeah. That's one of the reasons there. And so it's, it allows room for the brain to grow. So basically you've got one in 2,000 kids will have this. And half of these children that have craniosynostosis will need surgery to fix it. Oh, wow. Like a little boy named Ethan. This is him right there. He's almost two now, but a year ago he had this huge surgery. So he was born with this birth defect. And as I mentioned, normally these bones in the head are separated by these little gaps to allow for brain growth. But in these kids, the bones have fused together permanent prematurely so this is happening before it should happen something that doesn't normally happen until children are about two or three but it's happening these babies are almost at birth so this can prevent the brain from growing properly it can also mean that the infant's head becomes misshapen thankfully however at the children's hospital hill doctors can actually separate these fused bones myself and the neurosurgeon release the, neuro the, the bone that's fused uh, and give that skull a chance to expand in the dimensions that it's being restricted and so we do that at ages, usually ages three to six months. And then following that, uh, helmet therapy is often needed to help kind of mold the skull a little bit now that we've released the bone that's fused and uh, up until around a year of age. And then once a year passes, um, you, thankfully, uh, it's, it's very uncommon to see any sort of recurrence. And what's great about this is Ethan's doing really, really well. Well, but here's you can little see, Ethan. Yeah, okay. but this is him during the surgery. So this yes. is the huge surgery. They actually open them up ear to ear, if okay. you can imagine. Yeah. Take the skull out, fix it, separate it, and mm -hmm. then put it back in and then sew them back up. Here he is with his helmet therapy afterwards. He wore that helmet till he was about one. And you know what? Now he's doing just fantastic. It's absolutely incredible. But the tricky he thing here is that if Ethan had been diagnosed earlier, so most kids are diagnosed with this at around five or six months of age. Okay. If they can get them diagnosed before three months of age, they can do a much less invasive surgery. So they're not opening up their entire head. They're just not doing that. There's dad right there. <laughs> yeah. um, so what you really want to do is not do this, right? This is a huge surgery. And you know, the risk of blood loss is huge. In I fact, bet. most children are going to be receiving blood during the procedure and afterwards because we all know how vascular the head is. Oh, you sure, know, head sure. wounds bleed. It, just ble we all... it bleeds forever. Yeah. Exactly. So this is why it's such a risky, risky surgery. So if we can get these children diagnosed earlier, before three months of age, they can do a much less invasive surgery where they don't actually have to take that skull out. So what we're trying to do with this piece is really raise awareness. And Ashley, Ethan's mom, is a big part of that. Trying to raise awareness about this so that doctors, pediatricians, the general public, families, they know that this is something that could happen. This is a possibility. So. What Ashley wants, Ethan's mom, she wants to do is raise awareness about the defect and let other families know that they're not alone in this. You know that there's something wrong with your child, especially if you've had another child and you feel their head constantly and notice that something's different. And when you bring it up to the family doctors, they don't know about it. So they constantly say, well, his head shape's fine, you know. Then instead of getting the less invasive surgery, you're getting the more invasive surgery because they don't know about it and what to check for. So that's why I think it's important for other doctors and nurses and whatnot to notice the difference between a regular head shape and a non-regular so the parents can go through with getting everything that is possibly needed for their child. Which of course is what everybody wants, right? Yeah. Every, every parent wants the best. And parents for their have child. that gut feeling, right? They, they know do. this is not normal. They yeah. absolutely know. So you gotta yeah. trust that gut and push your doctors to really look for something like this. So Ashley has actually brought together a support group and she's got a Facebook page and all of that stuff is on my blog. Excellent. Good stuff. Breakfast television dossiers where you can find a click on blogs and look for Leah's and all the information's there. Good stuff. Thank you, you Leah. You're welcome.